everybody. Yes, it's a heartwarming sight on crisp autumn afternoons to look out over New Beaver Field and watch Penn State's valiant sons battle longtime rivals on the gridiron. Hey, this opportunity you have, it might not be here next year. It might not be here the year after next. It might not be here the year after that. This is the only moment you got, and you better take advantage of this particular moment. It does not take talent. You don't have to be talented, right? You don't have to be gifted. You don't have to be the quickest, the strongest. You don't have to be the most intelligent to get to where I am. That's what you got to do. You just got to grind, though. Your grind, you got to outgrind. You have to take advantage of an opportunity of a lifetime in the lifetime of the opportunity. You have to make a decision that nobody in this league in your position will outwork you. What is life without intuition, without ambition? When people say, hey, you can't make a living off being a musician, you better off being a pediatric physician. But while listening, you son of a ding dong ditch, man, I'm banging on your door, putting you in a confused position. Cause everything I spit, man, you ain't never trying to listen. But maybe you are. Maybe these lyrical bombs I'm dropping prove of a hit, man. Cause I'm just trying to make hits, man, like Ali in 86, man. Or like Jordan Duncan on Dude 610, pass the mic to feature Scotty that Pippin. And every time I look to the past, I stay wishing that I could build a time machine and revisit the past and make it a mission to fix all my resentments. Even if it means apologizing for all the girls I was kissing, leaving them wondering why I could get with it and straight dip, man. I would do anything just to get the family right back together, having cookouts with Kool-Aid and fried fish, man. Just so I could eat at Grandma's kitchen once more. Open doors leading either nothing or something got me wondering why. But I'm proud of who I am, becoming a man of wisdom. And play it, maybe I'll see it later, but honestly, I think that's even better than having 2020 vision. Tell us, you either get better or you get worse, never stay the same, and I live by that, and uh, my, my kids know it, people I work with know it, and I believe in that, and I think that's allowed me to achieve bigger things than, than I've ever really, you know, dreamed I could, both, you know, uh, in football and even outside professionally. I think Penn State and Penn State football prepares you for life because of the commitment that it takes to succeed. You deal with challenges on a regular basis. Uh, you, you tend to be able to accept those challenges a little bit more so because you know that you know the the thrill of vic victory and the agony of defeat. That, that oh, he leaped over the. Oh my God! Johnson at the point of attack. Back goes Robinson. Shot. 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 Williams flip it back in the reverse to Justin King near side 30, King 35, 40, King 45, 50, 45, 40 near side. Being a unit, it's about being a team, uh, not one individual. The guys have wore before you that have wore this jersey. Uh, you know, it's in honor of them and what they've done here too because you're not the only one making a name in this jersey. Somebody else before you did as well. I mean, the competition from those guys that made us all better. Uh, you know, they say iron sharpens iron. Fourth and goal from the 13. Is it intercepted, and Penn State will win the national championship. That's part of the reason why Penn State doesn't need to do a whole lot of gimmicks because the groundwork has been laid. The black shoes, the basic blues, no names, all game. I mean, that's Penn State football. Just to know that's going to be part of our future and we're moving on with it. <laughs>